Uh, we'll be hosting it today for the press conference. Uh, and behind us are the or the or line of speakers for both uh, students and community members for both affected and supported of the Dream Act. Uh, first, first, Jane will give us a brief background on the Dream Act. Um, hi everyone, um, it's really exciting to be here today. Um, first, I'd like to um, give uh, a little bit of the background on the Dream Act. Um, the Dream Act of 2005, it's Senate Bill Number 2075. It was reintroduced in the Senate on November 18th by Senators Dick Durbin, um, Chuck Hagel, and Richard Bugar. Um, and they were joined by 10 other bipartisan co-sponsors um, who are all listed um, in your press packets. Um, uh, the bill that was reintroduced in the Senate um, looks very similar to the one that was passed in the Senate Judiciary Committee back in um, October 2003 in the 108 Congress, um, and it passed by a 16 to 3 vote. Um, and that means that the eligibility requirements um, do um, remain the same with minor changes. And they are that a dream beneficiary uh, must have been um, uh, must have been in present in the U.S. for at least five years. They must have entered the U.S. Um, on or before they were 16 years old. 16 years old. Uh, they must have shown good moral character, and they must have graduated from a U.S. high school or have uh, received the equivalent GED. Um, if they if they fall under all these eligibility requirements, then uh, the dream beneficiary will uh, receive a conditional legal immigration status for up to six years, um, which is good for up to six years. Within that period of time, the student would have to pursue uh, higher education or uh, join the army for at least two years before they're qualified for permanent, uh, legal permanent residence. Um, should the DREAM Act pass, uh, more than 65,000 undocumented students that graduate from U.S. high schools uh, would be able to pursue higher education and obtain legal status and achieve their dreams um, and goals. Um, now I would like to introduce one of these DREAM students. Uh, who would benefit from the DREAM Act. Um, she is Betsy Estudio, um, member of Trilla Liza, an active youth group that has done incredible work on the DREAM Act and also California's in-state tuition, tuition bill AB 540 for over the past five years. Betsy. Hi, hello, my name is Betsy Estudio and I was born in Mexico. I came here when I was really young, uh, three years old. Uh, ever since all my life, I've been considered the U.S. as my own country, even though I wasn't born here. As of now, I attend Glendale Community College for the past three years. My status in the Glendale Community College is an AB 540 student, and as grateful as I am, because it gives me a lot of opportunity to pay as a resident would do, it's still not enough. Uh, I can't get financial aid. I have to pay all uh, my books, my classes, uh, pretty much everything. Uh, so. My ultimate goal, my major is political science, and my ultimate goal is to go to UCLA and get my bachelor's degree, but somehow that um, just stops right there because I, my ultimate goal is to go to law school, and as many of you know, um, going to law school you do need some type of legal status, and I'm not able to get that at all. So the dream will definitely benefit me uh, a lot. It will get me uh, legal status, get me to obtain my career and become a successful person. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, We will now have uh, Kate Lee, a uh, member of Orange, the youth group from KRC, the Korean Resource Center. Hello, my name is Kate Lee. I'm a sophomore at Cypress College. Um, past two years, I've been volunteering at KRC, Korean Resource Center, and got involved with Dream Act activities. Together, our goal is to empower immigrant students' right to dream and to continue to achieve their goals um, and their higher uh, higher level of education. I'll be transferring to Cal State Fullerton to further study my major communication. I believe God has bigger plans for me, and I believe I can pursue them. Soon, I hope to become a radio host at your uh, local radio station and share good stuff on the radio. Just like myself, there are immigrant students who do not uh, want to see their dreams perish. Immigrant students like myself have burdens like difficulties to apply for scholarships and grants and uh, paying tuition, high tuition bill fees. Um, as we pursue Dream Act together, we can simply remove such burdens from each other. 
in closing, I would like to say that coalition like Dream, Los Angeles Dream Team coalitions are critical. It is critical in uniting communities and students of color to conduct effective education and advocacy effort to ensure the passage of the Dream Act. I feel that I have an important, important duty as a Korean American woman to further encourage activism among my peers, Korean American and Asian American. The DREAM Act is not only an issue that impacts a certain community, but it impacts all communities. The DREAM Act is not only an issue that impacts a, well, it, it's not just an immigration, it's not just about immigration, but also about <coughs> access to education and fostering the growth of young people. We still have a long road to go, but by continuously being in the forefront of organizing and advocacy and privacy pushing forward, we are more hopeful that our dreams and hopes will one day become reality. Thank you. Hi, thank you, Kate. So Kate and Betsy are just two of the bright students that we have who will benefit from the DREAM Act. Um, and we'll be able to go to college and graduate and contribute to our society even more uh, by being able to um, get legal employment in this country. So thank you to both. Um, next we have Will Echeverria. He's the math teacher um, here at the Los Angeles, Los Angeles Leadership Academy. So he'll show, um, or he'll share with us our um, his insights as a teacher. Good morning. Well, first of all, I'd like to speak um, about my experience here in the United States coming from a war-torn country of El Salvador, coming to the United States at the age of seven, um, not knowing why I was coming here, but knowing that my parents needed me to be here and needed me to um, escape the war that was happening in El Salvador. I came here undocumented. Uh, it wasn't until, from 1986 to 2000, I was undocumented. It wasn't until 2000 that I received my legal residency. So I went through public education here in LA as an undocumented student, graduated high school as an undocumented student, did not have the support of any legislation. This was before AB 540, and um, really struggled to make my dream come true of going to a college or university. So I know exactly what this dream act would, um, would benefit and who would benefit and what kinds of dreams would be realized by a legislation like this because I have those same dreams. I now am a legal resident and I'm now giving back to my community and knowing that there are students that are in need of support, in need of legislation like this to be able to make their dreams realized. And every day I come to school and teach my students about math and teach them that they are, and, and encourage them that they are able and capable of going on to college. But in the back of my mind, I know that many of them will struggle with what I struggle. I know that many of them do not have any documents to be able to help them realize their dream. I may see it in their eyes, I know that they are capable, and I know that they can succeed in this country, but they need the support of the DREAM Act, they need the support of our legislators, they need the support of this law. And so I encourage them to continue their education every single day, but I know that it is a struggle, and I know that I can do only one small part in that, but we need the support of, of our government, and I know that with that support, my students can realize their dream of going to college, my students can become whatever they want to become. It was not, most of them, it was not their choice, like, like it wasn't my choice to come to this country, but we are here to stay, we're here to make our lives, we are here to make our futures, and we need to make our dreams come true. And so we need the support of these kind of legislations to be able to make those dreams come true for, for myself and for my students. Thank you, Mr. Teoria. Uh, we're going to have uh, some PO Ma, the Immigrant Health Coordinator for KRC, and Horacio Arroyo, the Youth Peer Organi Organizer for WISEP with children, uh, who will be discussing representing uh, the Dream Team in Los Angeles. Uh, hi, my name is Horacio Arroyo. I work with uh, Chula, the Coalition for Humane Immigrant Rights of Los Angeles. 
Uh, we organize youth in this organization, many of these youth who are affected, and they, have, they share a similar story just like the two that we've heard here today. But um, as Chula, we're really seeing something new here. Um, since 2001, our organization and other organizations have been involved in the struggle to gain access to, for, to have higher education for undocumented students. And in 2001, we started really with support from only around 12 organizations. It's now 2005, and we're getting close to 2006, and that number has really grown exponentially. Now we're seeing a lot of support for this legislation and the issue uh, by the hundreds. And this is the support that's going to take to really make a strong advancement in this issue. Um, a lot of organizations believe that this is the right way to go, that this legislation, the DREAM Act, will be the key or legislation that would start something new in this country. Um, we have many organizations involved here in Los Angeles, um, and together we have formed a strong union, a coalition of different immigrant rights organizations, uh, both in LA and in Orange County. Uh, some of these organizations are made up of youth groups, uh, local organizations, national groups, and these are the organizations that, are, that work with students on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and by 2006, these organizations are going to be the ones to move this legislation. Um, nationally, we also work with organizations like the Center for Community Change and um, a network called the Fair Immigration Reform Movement. Um, if, but here's some deal. Oh, and this man. My name is Solaxo Roy Drogo para la Organización Chirla, la Coalición Pro Derechos Humanos del Inmigrante en Los Ángeles. Como Chirla y otras organizaciones, hemos agarrado mucho apoyo de organizaciones. Uh, que trabajan con jóvenes, con estudiantes de comunidades que tienen a la escuela y uh, nuestras organizaciones que trabajan con estos uh, estudiantes hemos agarrado mucho apoyo de organizaciones acá, aquí localmente, nacionalmente trabajamos con organizaciones uh, con FAIR, uh, CONFIRM, uh, FAIR Migration Reform Movement y el Centro para Cambio Social uh, hemos avanzado esta propuesta por muchos años empezamos con una docena de organizaciones que, no, que nos han apoyado y hemos avanzado a más de 100 organizaciones. Este es el apoyo que, vamos a, a, que tenemos que obtener en el futuro para poder avanzar esta legislación. Gracias. Hola, mi nombre es Hong Kyo, soy de Queer and Social, y Queer and Social es también la organización de organización de la LGBT Coalition in Southern California. And today I'm going to talk about the LAGT Colleges Action Plan. Our action plan is going to be, the period is going to be December 1st through December 8th. It's going to be seven days of, seven days of action plan about the Dream Act. The first thing, we're going to call in an email to Senator Richard Darby and Chuck Hinkle and John Luger to thank them to introduce the Dream Act and so that the, all the peoples and all the undocumented students they can see their careers, their hope, and their futures in their futures. And the second hour action plan is going to be call and visiting to Diane, Diane Feinstein and Barbara Boxer to urge them to support the GMAC because they support the GMAC last year in 2004, one of conversations. And we believe that they also support the GMAC in this one of nine conversations. Uh, so, and then right now I'm going to talk in Korean. 네, 안녕하세요. 지금 마성표 위원 저 민주화학교에서 어, 지금 활동하고 있는 수준입니다. 저희가 오늘 저는 이제 내리 드림 팀 포지션을 이제 대표해서 저희가 이제 액션 플랜에 대해서 얘기를 할 텐데 저희는 지금 이 액션 플랜은 이제 12월 1일부터 12월 9일까지 한 7일간에 걸쳐서 저희가 전화하고 이메일을 하고 그다음에 방문하는 식으로 저희가 이제 계획을 잡고 있습니다. 또 하나는 저희가 이제 드림 법안을 상정을 한 즉, 어, 리차드 널빈 상원의원, 그 다음에 척 헤이거, 그 다음에 리차드 루가 상원의원한테 저희 전화하고 이메일을 돌려서 저희가 이제 드림 법안을 어, 상정해 주셔서 너무 감사하다. 지금 이 순간에 지금, 어, 용기 내주셔서 이 사면 법안을 서포트하고 지지해 주셔서 너무 감사하다는 내용으로 저희가 전화를 할 예정이고요. 그리고 또한 가지는 저희가 이제 캘리포니아에 지금 상원이었신 나의 파인스타 이용하고 그 다음에 바팔 박사 이하로 전화를 걸어서 그 다음에 방문도 직접 저희가 해서 그분들이 꼭 드립법안을 지지할 수 있도록 그리고 그분들이 드립법안 지지하는 것 뿐만 아니라 그 의회에서도 상원의회에서도 그 드립법안 지지할 수 있도록 다른 상원의한테도 꼭 얘기할 수 있도록 저희가 어 방문과 어그 컬링 액션을 할 예정입니다. 
Thank you, Horacio and Songpyo. Um, as you see, the LA Dream Team Coalition is a very strong, united um, um, coalition of different um, groups. And the um, short um, action plan that we have lined up, uh, for, uh, starting from um, from tomorrow, um, on the calling actions to thank um, the three um, original co-sponsors, as well as our, our, our visits, um, is just to jumpstart um, our efforts to um, reinvigorate the community um, and the students' um, efforts to pass the DREAM Act. Uh, more intensive organizing and education work is, is expected to line up uh, starting early next year. So we hope that we have all your support um, in, um, in, in fighting to pass the DREAM Act. Um, that um, concludes um, the line of, of, of lineup of speakers that we have today for the press conference. Um, and I would like to now open it up to the floor for any questions uh, that uh, you may have. If there are no questions, um, then um, I think I would like to now um, close the official uh, part of the press conference and um, open it up for one-to-one -one interviews with all the speakers um, speakers here today. So thank you all for coming to the press conference, and thank you again for the Leadership Academy for hosting us today. Yeah.